Hey YouTube, this is Ben Yessel. How's it going? Um, I thought I'd respond to a few things, maybe, but definitely a few other things in my mind. Um, it is kind of a dark evening, by the way. Um, in Everett. So... Someone brought up something that I think I should mention. I've probably mentioned it before, but I apologize on his behalf for his idiocy <laughs> and bring up something like this. Um, I don't mind having my face in the camera. Either way, it's I can do it either way. I just it's easier for me to not have to. Um, look directly at the camera when I'm talking about stuff that I'm trying to think about as I'm talking. Um, I'd rather not have to have direct eye contact with you guys the entire time that I'm talking. Or I'd rather have you guys just be able to hear what I'm saying and not dwell on the visual stuff. Because my whole channel is very... Th th at, least, at least this channel is definitely not visual at all. It's, it's, it's the complete opposite of something that's visually oriented. With some, maybe a few of my videos being kind of nature-y or something in the past. But anyway, when things warm, warm up, I will do some more walking around stuff. But, um, so again, I apologize on this idiot's behalf. It's just not a, a huge priority. I don't, I'm not looking at the camera the entire time. Sometimes I think that some of you guys are a little bit weirded out if I look directly at the camera. Um, <laughs> anyway... So, um, anyway, aside from that whole thing, you know, I, I thought I'd at least mention some things that have been kind of on my mind a bit today. I don't know why they're on my mind. I just, I just feel like I need to mention a few things, uh, that are a little bit more, explore a little bit more about who I am as a person and um, how I tend to respond to different kinds of people that I've known, just how I've interacted with people in general that have certain kinds of, you know, personal characteristics or qualities. Um, but, you know, I'm kind of focusing around a little bit more of the uh, Washington liberal here. And not necessarily in a Seattle, solely Seattle-like kind of version of the Washington liberal. So, definitely not just that. Um, there's a type of woman, and I mentioned woman spe specifically. There's a type of woman, because I haven't really found this kind of behavior in, in dudes guys. This is very much a, a behavior I've noticed in certain women that are more liberal in general. Not always liberal, but generally speaking this is a liberal, more liberal kind of quality. Um, and some of some women that are like this are actually like more, get along with better than others that are like this. This, this characteristic or quality I'm talking about is something where and you see it on YouTube. Uh, women are very supportive of other women. Uh, they're very um, quick to see faults in someone who's conservative. And um, we'll just say traditionally minded. Very quick to see faults in those kinds of people. And very slow, if, if ever, to see faults in someone who's very liberal. So I guess you could just say, oh, that's just liberalism in general. But no, to get more specific here, uh, it's kind of like when it comes to women that are like this, there's kind of a, um, this notion, or these notions sometimes that men are all pedophiles or men are all rapists or, or that we're all scuzzy, degenerate, sexual, perverted uh, whatever, you know, kinds of people. And that all, all men are this way, and that, um, or 
if there are any men that are not this way, they're already taken or they're married or they're, um, <laughs> you know, this this is and and then when they when these kinds of women, you know, they talk to kids or they're supervising kids in any capacity or they're a teacher, they're really, um, you know. And, You'd probably fill in the blank at this point about how they would probably uh, be around kids. I'm not saying they're they're not good to be. Around, I'm not saying that they're not good around kids. What I am saying is is that they're going to spread that kind of sentiment to kids that men are not to be trusted. Men are all these bad things and maybe they've had bad experiences with guys and that's why they, they feel that way maybe they haven't maybe they've known people that have taken advantage of women maybe they just think that this is the way that guys are and if they're not quite that fully that way then again it, it's just it's just more traditionally minded very conservative minded guys that they're going to want to call out um, like a, a, a little bit more of an extreme version of say what's on that chick that was an anchor man the way that she was the way that she was is actually in some respects a little bit more like most how most people are uh, most people aren't flaming liberal or if they say they're flaming liberal they're not really necessarily that all that anti-conservative um <laughs> but if you see that movie, if you've seen that movie, and you know how she is, the, 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 the woman, the, was it Christina Applegate or something? I can't remember. Anyway, you see how her character is around other women that are kind of feminists and stuff. And, well, more or less. And, you know, look, you could, I, I mean, every other person I've known who's a woman in Washington is leaning this way, so I've had my fair share of women that I've known that are like this. And then the vast majority of, of LDS folks or people in Utah are definitely not, not like this. Well, but there are some, too many that, in my opinion, are. But I've known a lot of liberal women. And a lot of women that are more liberal don't quite think this way. Of course. Of course. But we, we are talking about this type of woman that is like, okay, come, 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 come. You know, you know shunning the company of, oh, they don't want children to spend any time with men. You know, they're just very suspicious of all men, you know, kind of thing. Um, they don't. This, this kind of woman never opens up to conservative guy, or if they do, it's it's kind of I don't know. It's not really their full selves. It's not. Um, you feel you feel on some level not trusted. You feel at odds with that person. You don't know why. And I wish I could say that this is just about one person I've known. No. Unfortunately, this is this is, this is is thousands of girls, thousands of women probably I've known on some level that they think this way. And I have, I personally have had nothing to do with their mistrust or, or them feeling guarded or them feeling like they have to defend themselves. I had nothing to do with that at all. Yet, I've been the brunt of that kind of behavior. I wanted to mention that this, maybe this one thing, and I, I, I mentioned it at, for, at the outset, this is more of a general thing. And maybe I'll get to the other things, other kinds of people later in other videos. But this is just a very big thing that's been on my mind. This, this kind of liberal woman, because trust me, this, this is only one kind, but this is definitely a very, this is something I haven't mentioned before in any of my videos. I know I haven't, and I went to not only elementary school with, this, with some of these women like this, more especially junior high, high school, and college, Central Washington, and Tacoma Community College. The, most of my life, I've been around these kinds of people, this kind of, this, this kind of woman. I know what I'm talking about when, I, when it comes to this kind of stuff. I've dated liberal women that are different than this. They don't quite think this way, but too many do. 
So the question is, why, why is this so common? Why is this, why is this uh, desire to find fault with conservative men? Conservative men, mind you, more especially. Why is that such a big thing? And it's also pushed in the media? And I, I just haven't, I, since I haven't really been in college or haven't really been around that element uh, very strongly for a while, it's, it's been very nice. It's been very pleasant on my end. Uh, but whenever I do sense it, I, I pick it up. But again, it's, it's, it's just, you know, like I've mentioned before with, with other kinds of relationship kinds of things, most people will never tell you. Most people will never, they'll, they'll never tell you what's really on their minds, what, what, what they really want, would want to say to you. Even though they, they consider themselves to be so much more uh, socially um, adept, maybe, than you are. They'll never, they'll just, they'll never have, they'll, they'll never say it. And if they do say it, you know, if they're right, they're right, if they're wrong, they're wrong. And I will tell them if they're right or wrong, and precisely how much. I'll say, oh, that, that kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. Oh, well, I mean, I'll say, oh, you cut me to the core. And I'll be honest with them. The funny thing is, is that, you know, you can actually say that when you get a little older. You can say, oh, yeah, that really got me. You were right. Oh, you were absolutely right. It's okay. I know. You need to be bold. But you, I can say that. It's much easier to say that, you know, in these days than when I was younger. Uh, but that's assuming that they were right about something. A lot of times, uh, you know, it's just it's just like this. If you don't if you don't tell somebody that you have some kind of some funky feeling about them, something that's building up over time, and then you know you lash out at them for some stupid reason. I mean, come on now, come on. You know, men are not all rapists. Most of us are not. We're not going to shout you down. We're not going to make you feel little. We want. I think. What I think is. I think. What I can speak for all guys here. When I say, men want to know what women are really thinking. Yes, we do. I'm speaking especially in terms of just getting along with your fellow woman, fellow coworker, fellow whatever, whoever. Men do want to know what women think about whatever. We don't want. To women to dance around what their the thoughts really are about things. We'll take the brutal truth. And, um, but what I can't stand is this, you get this, this desire to find fault with someone more because they're conservative or because they're a certain religion. Um, you know, I, I don't, think to myself when I if, I if I'm in kind of in a grumpy mood and I just you know like interacting with certain people on a daily basis whatever I'm not thinking oh this person's this religion or this person's this political persuasion or whatever so therefore I'm going to be all the more nasty to that person it's it's never that way folks it's always well geez how comfortable do I feel about that person how, how comfortable do I feel about that person? <laughs> how comfortable do I feel around that person to begin with? Yeah, what's my comfort zone? What, what, what are the vibes like around that person to begin with? That's always how it is. That's always how it is. Whenever you, you know, it's, it's it, I, you know, I, I, the last thing in my mind sometimes is what if they're conservative or liberal? You know, I might, I might think about that if we talk about politics. But, and, and you know, it's like it's like the little the little. It's the it's the little gossipy things that women do, the little the little snickering kinds of things that are more liberal. I'm talking about the more liberal women in this case, but not just liberals. But you know, um, and I, maybe at this point you might be thinking more about like an office office situation, like like the office, right? Or just you know any situation where you can talk a little bit, and, and whatever, all that stuff, right? All the things I hate, I hear about. Well, I'm surprised that any woman would think that that's somehow 
attractive or uh, yeah. why, why would anybody think that being a gossipy person is um, something we all want more of You know what kind of woman I'm talking about by this point. And, you know, I, you see them, like, some women, they're uh, hovering around their kids. Like, I would say, you know, helicopter parents. They're hovering around them. Oh, we can't let any strangers talk to them. I've never had a problem with kids not talking to strangers. Never had a problem with that at all. It's just the extreme reaction that some parents have toward other adults they don't know. It seems very odd to me. You know, it seems very odd that if I were to go to a park just by myself and I was walking around just enjoying the park and there happened to be a group of kids nearby and then some crazy parent comes over and whistles them away well, without me even glancing their direction. I'm talking about those kinds of parents, those kinds of adults, that have this irrational fear of men. It's just to me, it just, and I know they exist. And I wish I was making this up. And I wish I believed, I wish that every single woman I knew was always comfortable around, women, around men. So that, that I would never get the brunt of that, those, those messed up feelings. At least, at least because of that. So you know, because of the poor, I should say, because of the evil acts of other men that may have occurred in these other women's lives, I now have to pay the price for that. I have, because the way that women are acting. That's really, what I've, I've, that's really what's happening a lot of times with this kind of stuff. So... You know, it's just that there are times when you feel belittled. You feel like nobody's in your corner. I know what that feels like. You know, a lot of times, by the way, when it comes to people that have a hard time, a hard time with someone who's conservative and traditionally minded, you know, a lot of times this actually is nothing other than some form of anti-Mormonism or some form of anti-Christianity in a maybe a more American conservative kind of mindset or it's some kind of um, you know desire to not have somebody be controlling in their life because you know the idea of the Christian conservative the Mormon conservative man that's a guy is controlling and patriarchal and dominant and, and that's our way or that you know it's, uh, respect my authority <laughs> from South Park and that's what's going on in a lot of these women's minds. And it's a bunch of it's a bunch of crap unless a man is abusive or has that way about him. And you know, if you all you if all the woman looks at is somebody's religion, maybe like politics and some peripheral, you know, and they just don't have the social or the uh, intellectual aptitude to kind of read between the lines. If they can't even do that, again, they had growing up to do. And if they are more grown up and they still think that way, sheesh, I don't know. Maybe they had some bad experiences with them. I, don't, I have no idea. I have no idea. And by the way, I know, that, of course, it goes without saying that, you know, there are women that are more conservative that have a lot of these feelings as well. Um, some of us, you know, might call them Karens. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't like that term, but uh, to be honest. But I understand what it means and that sort of thing. Um, but, you know, I mean, like, it's kind of like this, the way I have seen everything, not just women, social interactions with women, but both guys and girls, both male and female, everybody kind of goes like this. If I didn't do anything to cause someone to feel upset, then why are they acting this way around me. That's always, you know, my parents wonder why I'm sometimes so emotional to talk to them. Well, it's because my parents are some of the fewer, comparatively fewer people that I can really open up to. So I'm just being very for real emotionally with my parents. Yeah. 
and you, you know you have all these bottles you have all on some level you have these bottled up feelings from life that you can't always I can't always just go to different people I, I know and and tell everything so every little thing that I would want to talk about I can't you know I just can't do that for a lot of people I know their relationship is not such where I can feel comfortable doing that and so um, anyway and you know you know that you're closer to somebody when you open up more to them about things by the way but the, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna I'm just repeat this if I have not done anything to offend a woman, if I have not done, if I have, if I haven't ever done anything to, to take advantage of a woman at all, why the devil would I be subject to that kind of scrutiny? Well, it's because we live in an evil, fallen world where people get the wrong idea about other people all the time. The wrong idea it is too. Oh man, and, and uh, I've mentioned before maybe. Maybe in passing, there are a lot of things that are kind of being worked out, in my opinion, between uh, like the Southern Baptists and our church. I mean, it seems like, I could be wrong, but it seems like things are going in the right direction. Maybe it's because we have more communication going on. Maybe it's because we have more, yeah, we have more of a desire to communicate between the two different groups. And amongst other religious, you know, bodies. Um, and you know when a woman closes themselves off when they won't hear somebody when they never when they never really hear listen to somebody truly that's a problem in my entire life I have never closed myself off to a woman unless I just feel very awkward around a certain woman for some reason that's another deal. But that's not... I'm not completely ignoring the woman. It's really, really, really offensive to men when women act this way. That whole, that whole business of being suspicious and accusatory. They, 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 they can be conservative too and it's a lot that way I know but it's it's like the men the men all eat meat and that the whole shebang and you know you're off maybe picturing a woman who's vegan in this case that whole thing is very it, it makes it makes you I just want to punch a hole through the wall it's like you so you want guys to be less domineering and, and more whatever just keep it up. See how angry some guys can get. If you act that way around them, like, oh man. You know, I also, I remember, gosh, there was this woman, she, and oh yeah, talking about veganism versus all. There was a woman who was a vegan for the longest time. She was really stinking particularly persnickety and it took so much energy out of her life to be very strict vegan and then she went carnivore and then she was one of the rudest people I remember talking to ever on YouTube just a complete basket case that kind of woman would also be a complete jerk to, to guys or well I don't know we'll just say in this case she I don't know something's wrong with her brain And when women are, are not very pleasant to begin with, I don't want to spend time with them. I, I just, if you have to, because it's like, you have classes with them, you work with them. I, you're kind of in that situation. Okay. My dad had to deal with a woman um, who he said was playing politics all the time when he was younger. And my dad was always very respectful toward her he never said anything really bad about her keep that in mind anyway a few thoughts for you guys tonight I gotta go teach a piano lesson leave my thoughts in the comments below take care bye